an American passport, an ordinary citizen, say her family. So how did Nicole Mansfield end up in Syria? These pictures from Syrian state TV reportedly show the car Nicole and her two companions were traveling in when they were shot and killed. It's claimed they were fighting for rebels there. Nicole spent much of her childhood here at this house in suburban Michigan. She was a mother who once had ambitions to be a nurse. Her family say she was caring, loving and helpful. And they simply can't understand how she ended up dead on a battlefield thousands of miles from here. Nicole wasn't a fighter. She'd stand and let some bully smack her in the face or kick her in the shins or whatever. No, she wasn't. Not unless this, this all came about within the last six years. And I, I didn't know about it. Um, but, you know, don't ever say never what your kids will do. Nicole had a difficult childhood. From a broken home, she was raised by her aunt and her grandmother after her parents split up. She became a mum at 15 and leaves behind an 18-year-old daughter. Raised as a Baptist, Nicole converted to Islam a few years ago, spending some time in Dubai. Now her grandmother believes she was brainwashed into going to Syria. I think she had some guidance into that. I really do. I don't think... It was somebody, I think, through the Muslim community or Arabic community uh, that she came in contact with. I wouldn't call her weak-minded. I would call her, after a while, maybe gullible. Nicole's family are now anxiously waiting to find out how, when, and even if her body will be flown back to America. Regina Bidianarden, BBC News, Michigan.